Akshita here from Akshita's Recipes. So I thought I'll just make some videos like this in the middle of the week or whenever I can where you know I'll show you what I actually cooked uh, you know for the day or what I prepped and I kept for the evening so that I don't have to go and cook again in the evening I just you can just heat up everything and my meal is ready. So if you want to see something like some videos like this where I just show you what I cook and then I link the recipe down in the description box because I've already posted it on my channel so all you need to do is just go into the description box and click on the link and it will take you directly to my recipe that way you don't need to go through the entire recipe but you can get some inspiration as to what you know you can cook also so if you like videos like this and if you want to see videos like this then give this video a thumbs up leave your comments in the comment section below so let's get started with what i made today okay, i made uh, you know ragada patties so these are the patties that i've already prepared so i'll just show you some it's very nice and delicious that is then this is the ragda or the you know the, the gravy that goes with it so it's made out of white patana don't worry guys i leave the recipe down but i thought i'll just you know give you all some ideas so if you know you want know, to make something different then you know okay i can make this so i've just prepped this up and kept it and i can also keep it in my refrigerator and you know whenever anyone's hungry i just have to heat up all of this uh, in the microwave or back on the pan so this can be heated in the microwave but, uh, because I've put it in a microwave proof dish and this is you know I can heat it up on the pan and then I prepared this green chutney which goes with it so this is my simple green chutney I will leave the link to the entire ragda patis recipe as well as I leave the link to the green chutney recipe if you want to see it and this is my tamarind chutney so I always prepare, uh, you know, a bit of this. I'll just open the bottle and show you. So this is my thick tamarind chutney. So I always prepare, you know, at least a bottle, uh, you know, of this uh, this much uh, of the tamarind chutney and keep it in my refrigerator. It's a nice thick concentrate. You can, you know, even make it thinner if you like by adding water. So what happens is if I want to make something like, say, shea banana puri and or if I want to make bhel, you know, or something like that, uh, you know, then I already have my chutney is ready. Uh, I like to keep this tamarind chutney and this green chutney most of the time you know uh, in my uh, in my fridge also let me see if I have my potatoes yeah if you can see I've already kept you know some boiled potatoes so what I do is I always try to keep at least three or four potatoes boiled and kept you know in the refrigerator because you can do so much with potatoes I mean uh, you know you can make a shea banana puri you can make an aloo paratha now if I wanted to make an aloo paratha all I needed to do is just mix this green chutney with my boiled potatoes and if I have my uh, you know my wheat uh, chapati dough or poi dough ready I can make parathas you know really really quickly then I can make dhir with it, I can make uh, ragda patis, I can make so many other chaat recipes, uh, you know, with this, uh, with these chutneys. So if you prepare these chutneys and just keep them in your refrigerator, you know, you can just get stuff ready and, uh, you know, you're all set to go. And then uh, the other day I had made jalebis, so you all know I had made jalebis. My kitchen is in a little bit of a mess, so excuse me, but if you can see, you know, this is the, this is the remaining sugar syrup so uh, i have some bread in my refrigerator let me show you what's in my refrigerator it might be a mess but i actually cleaned my refrigerator today so here i have some bread uh, it's some lovely soft bread from venus i went to bandra to my friend's bakery and got this because it's really soft bread so you know i have this so what i can do is i can just cut it up into triangles and then i can just uh, you know make some shahi tukda my son loves shahi tukda because i already have the sugar syrup ready so i don't want to you know uh, uh, waste the shahi tukda the sugar syrup i want to show you all that you know i have this lovely little onion uh, uh, you know where i keep my onions chopped so that the refrigerator doesn't stink of onions so i've already chopped my onions fine for this ragra batter which is also required and of course i have some chopped coriander also at hand so basically i keep my onions you know in something like this you can also store it in an airtight container that way you know the fridge doesn't stink of onion and another tip i'd like to give you over here is you know what i always save these uh, lemon peels now these are my fresh lemons 
first of all i throw the pips into my uh, garden in my window and i have a little lemon tree growing up there and what i do is i save these and the reason i save these is first of all if you keep this in your refrigerator you don't get odor of other foods and also when you're cooking something you know in the ref in the in your pressure pan or pressure cooker you just throw these uh two or three of them in the pressure pan and you know uh your pressure cooker or pressure pan will be really nice and cute. telling you about the limes or lemons so if you have leftover lemons keep them and when you you know when you're boiling a rice or potatoes or anything in your pressure cooker or pressure pan just throw two or three of these used up lemons and you know you will see that you know normally our pressure pans get a little bit blackened at the bottom or grayish in the bottom in fact i have a video also in which i've showed you how to you know make your pressure pans nice and clean there i've used you know tamarin but this is also another trick that you just throw these lemons into the pressure pan or pressure cooker and whatever you're heating up heat it with that and then just give it a light you know scrub with your uh, soap and water and your pressure pan will look brand new so some tips here and there whatever i can think up and share with you guys now i also have you know this uh, thing you can see it it's sabudana vada so basically i have just prepared the sabudana vada again i'll leave the recipe link in the description box below so you guys can go and check it out so you know i already have it ready so again in the evening if someone is hungry for tea time or something or just want to have a light dinner then i can make this sabudana vada so i have this also prepped up what i like to do is i like to finish up whatever i'm you know making on the same day or maximum uh, you know the next day i don't like to keep food in the refrigerator for more than a day or two because then I mean, you know, uh, I don't like that. I mean, I, I like to give my family and I myself like to eat really fresh food. So I don't like to keep stuff for more than a day or two in the refrigerator. So now, even the sabudana thing, you know, I made it for breakfast in the morning. I made sabudana thali beet, but you can also make sabudana vada with it. So uh, I'll be making that vada, you know, in the evening maybe with some. Uh, green again. This green chutney. If I mix it up with some curd and add a little bit of powdered sugar, it becomes a lovely, uh, you know, dip for the sabudana vada. So uh, yeah. So this is how I prep, and you know, so I'm not overwhelmed with cooking. And then of course, whenever I think of a new recipe, I share it with you all guys on uh, Akshita's recipes. So if you'd like to see something like this, where I just show you what I cook during the day and you know, give you some ideas, then do leave your comments. If you want to see some specific uh, video. some specific recipe then let me know about that also so let me show you what i'm going to be what i made what else i made in the day so here guys i'm just frying the bread slices so i've cut one slice into four triangles just deep frying them and then i'm just going to transfer them once they're nice and golden brown to the sugar syrup i've just transferred the sugar sugar syrup to a larger kind of bowl and i'm just going to put this when it's hot only into the sugar syrup that way it absorbs all of the sugar syrup and uh, you know they then they look like this and then i'm just going to garnish them with some roughly chopped nuts so you can see that it's soaked up all the sugar syrup so this way you know i used up all the sugar syrup that i had made for my jalebis and here i'm making some chana masala so i like to keep all my ingredients ready like this when i'm not shooting or i'm just doing regular cooking i like to soak my coriander in some water to with salt is added this is my coriander daba and my kashmiri red chili powder i'm using kasuri methi chaat masala and i'm using the severus chole masala it's a real favorite at my place and some chili powder so this is it it's ready i leave a link for this masala also chana masala that i prepare and this goes really nice with some uh, you know rice now i like to keep my spoon on a small saucer like this so that i don't stain my uh platform always have some nice clean dry napkins the ones which are soiled i just throw them into the washing machine and uh, i have some water here which i like to drink when i'm cooking because i do forget to drink water so that's it like today's video that's that's uh, about it for today so there was shahi tukda there was sabudana vada or thali bhi kuch ever i would like to make then there was uh, chana masala and ragda patties so that's it for today so if i make another video like this i will definitely share it with you if you guys want to see it so don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for being here and watching my videos so this is it i'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think this is akshita signing off bye guys